Good day. Welcome to another episode of what has been trending within the last 24 hours in Nigeria. My name is Angelo. Now, first of all, with the updates, I have uh, something quite different. Just when we thought former Governor Yesom Wiki had already um, pitched his tent with uh, the APC and um, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, it has not been as we have thought because another fire has caught up with Yesom Wiki this time around. The APC, um, the team of Bola Ahmed Tinubu have come out to denounce their association with Nyesom Wike. How? The spokesperson of the president, Dele Henry Alake, came out to address the press and they asked him about Nyesom Wike. He said, no, they don't know Nyesom Wike. He is from the other party as far as they are concerned. And uh, according to him, his words were, when somebody from the other party is fighting himself and when somebody from the other party is coming to uh, uh, to uh, you know uh, have issues with his own party it is like a plus to you the opposition that was the or those were the words of henry dele alake can you imagine that means yes on wiki has lost it completely he has lost the battle because after he left the governorship he thought he could help um, the all progressive congress during the elections in Kotakot, in River State, he did everything possible. He has even visited the asshole of more than any other PDP governor or former governor. But you've heard of the turn of events. You cannot eat your cake and have it, former governor Nyesom Wiki. So, without wasting much of your time, I will show you the video where Dele Henry Alake, the spokesperson of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, denounced publicly Nyesom Wiki that they don't have anything to do with Nyesom Wiki again. In fact, Whatever yes on Wiki is coming to do in Asso Rock is just to pay homage to um, Bola Ahmed Tinobu. Stay tuned and watch that video. When I come back, I will give you more details. Stay tuned. Members of the opposition coming to pay courtesy call on the president. Um, I'm sure you are specifically referring to Pius and uh, Ayim and, and Ulisa Netu, you know, two prominent uh, PDP members I, I was actually at the meeting i sat in the meeting throughout uh wiki wiki wiki's case is is, is self-explanatory we didn't uh wiki wiki had the uh, i think it was the tempestuous nature of uh, the pdp internal political wranglings that uh, caused wiki's issue and you are all aware of that so the that one has no we have no issues with the wicked thing. It was an internal affairs of PDP. So, however, if as a political party your enemy is fighting himself, you reap whatever gains from it without lifting a finger. That's what that's what happened. I don't think that is even, uh, you know, uh, very germane. Now about uh, the the PDP people that came. You know, the president said that his administration is running an open door policy and is a unifier, is a symbol of unity of the country. So if anybody from any angle wishes to see the president and has some salient points to raise or issues of observation or even suggestion or advice, the president opens his doors. And so those people... Uh, Pius Ayim and the Lisa Metu came purposely to commend the president. I'm sure you interviewed them, you heard what they said. They, they came to commend the president for his very, very positive policy initiatives that, has, that have put Nigeria back on the global stage. And uh, it's not just their own saying, it's not just what they say they observed. We have received the same accolade and encomium from all parts of the globe. <laughs> oh, I am um, so um, sympathetic of Nyesom Wiki now because of those statements of Dele Henry Alake. Are you not sad statements to make? Well, I'm very sorry about that because um, that is how politics turns out, especially when it has to do with Nigerian political system. You leave your party, you decamp to this one, even without making it official, you know, and so on. Newsom Wiki has not even yet been accused of anti-party activities by the PDP. I don't know if they are afraid of him or they think he's going to, or he's bigger than them and so on. But people like Uche Sokondus, people like Iochia, you have been suspended on, on, on different numbers of times, all right? Well, Newsom Wiki should deal with his problem because he was warned at first. 
let's see if what Henry Delea, like I said, will come into existence. Thank you so much for that attention you gave us on that update. Now, to something quite different. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has joined a new social media platform that is trending. This is trending right now. <laughs> it is funny. Instead of the president to lead us, you know, to show us, bring things that will, um, you know, foster development and, eco and economic growth, the president is joining a new social media platform. Now, there is a new social media platform called Meta. Okay, this particular uh, social media platform was launched by Mark Zuckerberg, the owner of Facebook, Instagram, and um, 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 and um, WhatsApp. Now, this new platform under Meta is called Thread. If you've been on social media for the past 24 hours, you know that there is a new social media platform called Thread. Now, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is one of the newest Nigerians to join the Thread a new social media platform. And in fact, when he joined, after we confirmed that this account belonged to President Bola Tinubu, he made a post. His first post read, my fellow tell us. Listen, <laughs> my fellow tell us. Idon has landed. <laughs> if you have been on social media, you know that there is a Yoruba word that has been trending called Idon. And now he said, my fellow tell us, Idon has landed. That means <laughs> the Jagaban has landed himself. <laughs> Our president is busy joining social media platforms. Well, <laughs> let me give you a brief interview or a brief video to really show the proof that President Bola Tinubu has joined a new social media platform. Instead of giving us a good governance or giving us good uh, uh, policies that will aid um, abate the fuel subsidy and so on. He's joining a new social media platform. Watch this. <laughs> More details when I come back. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu on Thursday joined over 30 million users on the new microblogging platform Threads. Threads is a text-based social media platform founded by Mark Zuckerberg's Meta, which also owns Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. The app, which was launched on Thursday, has similar functions to rival Elon Musk's Twitter. The app's unveiling comes a few days after Musk announced that a temporary limit had been imposed on the number of posts users can read daily on Twitter. President Tinubu, in his first post on the app, shared a video from his inauguration on May 29th with the caption, My fellow Taylor's Aiden has landed. You, know, don't, you, don't, don't, you, you know, I always don't, say don't, Aiden. Don't, don't. <laughs> You don't. You don't. Okay, 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 okay. I love yeah. this. I mean, yeah. that's so Surah, 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 Surah,
you've confirmed it now, right? President Bola Tinubu is on thread. That means he's on Instagram, he's on Twitter, he's on, <laughs> he's on Facebook. Now he has joined thread. I know he'll be on WhatsApp too. Please, uh, well, it's just, it just shows that the president maybe wants to come closer to people or thereabouts. But please, he should um, show us his um, actions. Please, um, physically, don't join social media platforms because I don't think you could. I don't even think he operates these media platforms himself. And that is that. Well, um, that's that about our update. Now, finally, um, the Intergovernmental um, Payment and Collection um, Committee, IPAC, has um, come out to address the report given by the European Union on the sham and um, uh, very, very irregular elections that was conduct conducted by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, some months ago. Now, re recall that the EU gave um, a mandatory report and review about uh, the sham elections that was conducted by INEC. Um, and then um, this time around, the IPAC, uh, have come out to address that particular report although they didn't say specific statements about what to say about the report but their spokesperson really spoke at length about this particular report by the european union and he uh, he act actually promised that they will look into it i don't know who ipac is supporting right now if they're supporting tinubu or if they're supporting um, that is, if, if they're supporting INEC and tinubu or if they're supporting the european union because from what that man was saying in that video, I, I think he's a two. He's, he's, he's talking like a two-edged sword, which is like likely to cut left and cut right. So I don't understand what the man was saying because he was trying to applaud um, the elections and then he was trying to still review um, the EU report from IPAC. Well, watch um, this uh, spokesperson, the chairman of IPAC, uh, how he was talking about the report that was given by the EU. More details when I come back. Bola Hamed Tinubu, GCFR. As a winner, tongues have been wagging and discussions have continued around the process. You recall that on the 28th February 2023, when the collation of the results for the, from the 36 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory for the presidential election ran into logjam and the International Conference Center Abuja, IPAC, after due consultations intervened and encouraged INEC to continue with the process in order to guarantee the survival of democracy in Nigeria. The two major opposition parties, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, the Labour Party, LP, and their presidential candidates, Aladi Atiku Abubakar and Peter Obi, respectively, as well as about three other political parties, disagreed with the outcome of the elections and have since gone to the presidential election tribunal to challenge it. The elections have been described by some local international observer missions as having fallen below the minimum standard of what free, fair and credible elections should be. As the tribunal's decision is being awaited, the honestness around discussions on the election's outcome appeared to have been stirred once more Within the, with the recent release of the final report on the findings by one of the foreign election observer missions, the European Union Election Observation Mission, on the February 25th and March 18 elections. The mission, that's EU, offered 23 recommendations for consideration by the Nigerian authorities as part of its contribution to improve the future elections in Nigeria. IPAC has noted the content and recommendations of the EU EM report and other reports and will respond as active and most critical stakeholder in the electoral process within the first night. IPAC has put in place a committee to carry out a thorough review of 2023 election with a view to engender dialogue between all stakeholders on electoral reforms to achieve improved democratic practices in Nigeria. Compared to some previous elections, IPAC is of the opinion that the 2023 general election was one of the most meticulously prepared for in recent times. Okay, you've heard it from the um, chairman of the IPAC there, the intra-governmental uh, payment and collection. So, uh, well, let's see 
what they will have to do about the report. After all, they can do nothing about the report. The European Union has given a report that is acceptable by, or that has been accepted by almost 70% um, of Nigerians. I even saw some people the other day taking a protest to the European Union headquarters office in Abuja saying that they have rejected the um, report and the review of um, the uh, sham election conducted by INEC given by the European Union. I was wondering if those people were Nigerians because if you are Nigerians, you wouldn't take a protest to the European Union saying you have rejected the same elections that almost every Nigerian rejected its results. That is that on that particular audit. I hope you enjoyed our times together. Before I would uh, call it quits here, I would urge you to please like our videos, share them, watch till the end, and don't forget to also drop a comment for us in the comment section. We need those comments, okay? We need them. Then finally, both new and old subscribers, don't forget to like and then um, tap the subscribe button, then tap the notification bell. We need you to do all these things so our videos could go viral. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.